Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my new tutorial. Now, I posted a new intro yesterday and it was kind of a retro feeling intro and I did this effect where the text looked like it was kind of shining. And as you can see here, this white light kind of just crosses the path of the image and the text. And I got a few comments on how I did that. And it was really easy and let's just jump right into it. So create a new composition as normal and I'm just going to use 720p and I'm just going to call this tutorial and we'll just go 10 seconds. Alright so I'm not going to cover everything in detail like the particles and camera movements because this is just about the text. So grab your text tool and type what you want. I'm just going to type glossy tutorial or something. And if you want to send to your text, you can go down here and press title action safe and just expand that up a bit and then switch it back off. Okay, so if you want this font, it's called, I don't know, I'll put the link in the description for you. And um, so the first thing that we want to do is create kind of a glossy-ish text because you can see in this one, I've done this glowing kind of text and it looks pretty cool I reckon so I'll just show you how to quickly make that uh, what I did first was go to the effects and presets type ramp and you want to drag that onto your text okay so once that's on you want to move these start of ramp and end of ramp things so it's kind of like that so you've got a light silver to darker gray gradient on your text and then you want to go to your effects and presets and type tint now once you apply that to your text layer, you can tint this any color you want. I'm going to choose a nice blue color. And it's all looking pretty good so far. Now if you get a glow and drag that on, you can see it starts to get that glowing glossy look already. And now you want to play around the threshold until you're happy. And you can also go back to your ramp settings and play around with this a bit. and yeah that's pretty good so far we'll just keep it like that and so that's pretty much all I did to create that first glossy look and obviously the longer you spend on it the better it's gonna look and then I just made another glow for the purple outline and if we set this to A and B colors make them purplish purple and pinkish Keep playing around these settings, and that's looking pretty good right there. So I'm pretty happy with that, and let's move on to creating the actual shining look. So all I did was pre-compose the layer. Now I'll show you the reason I pre-compose it. So say if you've got your background in here. I'll just do up a quick background. As I said, I'm not running over the background, so I'm not going to really explain what I'm doing, but I'm pretty much creating an elliptical ramp and yeah and I'll just leave it at that so say if we didn't pre-compose the text the way I did this was I made an adjustment layer and what you need to do is pretty much draw a mask by grabbing the pen tool and to draw a mask if you didn't know you have to have your layer selected so make sure you've got your adjustment layer selected and it doesn't matter if it's not equal at the top as long as the sides are kind of even and what an adjustment layer does is it affects every layer below it so all I did was grab a curves adjustment and drag it onto the adjustment layer and you'll see it only affect the part in the mask and all I did was brighten it up like that but as you can see it brightens the background as well and we don't want that so all I did was go layer pre-compose move all attributes to a new composition and then we can cut that adjustment layer and put it above the text there. So now if we go back to our main composition you can see it's only above the text and it's not affecting the background. So now what we need to do is press P to bring up your position, uh, go to one second and we'll keyframe it to the start before the text and then 
go to say 2 seconds and move it all the way across and then press F9 or right click and your keyframe assistant easy ease to smooth the movement a bit and also you can feather it out so it's not a perfectly sharp look just maybe 10 pixels or so now if we go back we can go through our text and you can see it actually shines across and that's pretty much all I did to do that effect and that was just a quick tutorial on how to create this pretty cool looking glossy text in After Effects with that shine so um, I hope this is helpful if it was please rate comment subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.